please be seated. Good afternoon. My name is Thomas Carter III, and I am the Assistant Dean for Academic and Student Affairs in the College of Engineering. Today is a special day for all of us. It's a day of celebration and recognition, a day that marks the official ending of one phase of life and the beginning of another. Thank you all for being here today. At this time, you're all invited to stand for the National Anthem. be seated. At this time, I'm honored to introduce members of our administration and distinguished guests. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been made. At this time, I'm honored to introduce members of our, I'm sorry, excuse me. First, I'd like to introduce our platform party, beginning with Dean Kim Needy, who will be leading us through the ceremony today. We are very pleased to, have to welcome Congressman Bruce Westerman, who will serve as our commencement speaker. Congressman Westerman is currently serving his fourth term as a representative from the 4th District of Arkansas. Ms. Madeline Sullentrop is our College of Engineering Outstanding Senior. Dr. Kevin Hall, Associate Dean for Research. Dr. Norm Dennis, Associate, Senior Associate Dean. Dr. Brian Hill, Associate Dean for Student Affairs, our department representatives, Dr. Ja D, Department Head for Computer Science and Computer Engineering, Dr. Juan Balda, Department Head of Electrical Engineering. We are also fortunate to have with us Ms. Claudia Staples. She will interpret for persons with hearing impairments. Please join me in recognizing these participants in today's ceremony. Before I turn things over to Dean Needy, I would like to make one note. Graduates, please remember that you will be exiting the arena directly after you receive your diploma. So please take your belongings with you when you come to the stage. And now I'll turn things over to Dean Needy. Thanks, Dean Carter. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the College of Engineering, congratulations. Today is a momentous day, and I know many of you have dreamed about this and being in these seats for a very long time. I also know that this isn't what you pictured when you dreamed of your graduation day. Limited capacity, six feet apart, face coverings, this isn't the commencement any of us pictured for this year. It's different in many ways, but not any less momentous. 
I would love nothing more than to give each of you the congratulatory handshake that you so richly deserve. And I know you would love nothing more than to share and embrace with your friends and colleagues on this unforgettable day. It's painful to miss out on those memories, but I hope you know that today is more about handshakes, regalia, and diplomas. Today is a milestone. It is a crossing over point between who you were and who you will be. You have the tools to define your future as an engineer or a computer scientist. You have attended the classes, completed the projects, and passed the tests to certify that you have the skills you need to begin your career or pursue graduate studies with a strong foundation. You've also been instilled with a commitment to lifelong learning, which will carry you through what we predict will be a long and rewarding career. What you are expected to do is to think. You are expected to learn. You are expected to problem solve. And you are expected to commit yourself to growth as a professional and as a person. That's a tall order, and it's one that now you are uniquely positioned to fill. The world needs engineers and computer scientists now more than ever. The last few months have shown us the importance of people like us, people who can combine deep technical expertise with critical thinking and adaptability to find the best solutions when they are needed most. Whether your focus has been on supply chains, food production, medical devices, transportation, cybersecurity, material science, or any of the other critical topics in our college, you have a role to play in building a better world for tomorrow. That is what today is about. It is now your time to step into the world as an engineer, as a computer scientist, as a capable, compassionate person who is ready to make a difference. I would also like to recognize the parents, spouses, siblings, children, and other family members of the students who are graduating here today. This is certainly a special day for each of you, and I salute you for all the support and encouragement that you've given your loved ones to allow them to become a University of Arkansas College of Engineering graduate. Graduates and faculty, please join me in thanking this significant group of people. Now, I'd like to recognize an exceptional group of graduates. The university recognizes first-ranked senior scholars as individuals who took all undergraduate coursework at the University of Arkansas and achieved a 4.0 grade point average, and senior scholars as those students who also achieved a 4.0 grade point average on all undergraduate coursework including some transfer credit from other institutions. If you are a first-ranked senior scholar or senior scholar, please stand at this time. Congratulations, you may be seated. We also want to recognize the outstanding senior in each department. They are chosen by their departmental faculty as the individual who has the best combined record of academic achievement, department, college, and campus contributions, and community service. If you are an outstanding senior, 
please stand at this time. Congratulations, you may be seated. All of these students are noted on your commencement program with these distinctions. Please join me in recognizing these outstanding accomplishments. Each year, one student is selected as the College of Engineering Outstanding Senior. This selection is based on an individual's activities in the college, service to the university and community, and grade point average. This year's College of Engineering Outstanding Senior is Madeline Solentrop. Madeline is an industrial engineering major. Madeline is an accomplished scholar, researcher, campus leader, and she actively serves society. She holds multiple leadership roles on campus, serving as president of Alpha Pi Mu, the Industrial Engineering Honor Society, and secretary of Tau Beta Pi, the Engineering Honor Society, while maintaining a 4.0 grade point average. And as an honors student, She's developing models for battery swap stations for drone deliveries of life-saving blood supplies. She embodies what it means to be a Razorback in all aspects of life. Please join me in welcoming Madeline Solentrop to the podium. Good afternoon, graduating class of 2021. I, for one, cannot believe this day has come, and I think every single one of you should be very proud of yourself for all you have accomplished in your undergraduate career. It has not been easy, but it has been filled with memories that we will cherish as we look back at our time at the University of Arkansas. Can you believe it has been over three and a half years since we walked into our first GNED class? It wasn't a few weeks or even days later that we were working countless hours on physics or chemistry or calculus homework. And maybe it was just me, but at this point in my freshman year, I didn't really know if I had any friends or if everyone was just being really nice to me because they really didn't know if they had any friends either. I remember during the fall of that year, I was filling out the Arkansas Alumni Association Scholarship and the essay prompt asked me, why being a member of the University of Arkansas family was important to me. And I thought to myself, well, that is super cheesy and I have no idea how I'm gonna fill that out. Given the description of freshman year that I just gave you, this new community and family or environment didn't exactly feel too much like a family yet. But as I stand here today, I can say with full confidence that the University of Arkansas, the College of Engineering, and our respective departments have provided us with the guidance, love, and support which has made these communities our families. These groups of people are there to listen to our questions and concerns, to guide us, and offer the, us advice. I mean, it makes sense. There's nothing like the bond of all your classmates walking out a test, everyone feeling defeated, some insane, Man, I hope there's a curve. That'll really bring a group of people together. And although I didn't see it my freshman year, I especially saw this past year how strong of a family I was a part of. So it wouldn't be an engineering commencement ceremony without a little math. According to a data source with a broad definition of engineering, there is going to be about 4 million engineers in the US workforce this year. And 200,000 of those will have just graduated college. That means that we are part of the 5% of engineers in the workforce who graduated with an engineering degree while dealing with the stress of adjusting to online class, the disappointment of a social distance senior year, the financial stress of a tough economy, and anything else this lovely pandemic has brought to our plates. I believe this 5% of recent engineering graduates will be the most resilient class of graduates that the workforce has ever seen. 
We have not only had exceptional training on how to solve engineering problems, but we have also had unsolicited but necessary training on how to solve some of life's hardest problems. Whether you're going into industry or going to graduate school, I am 100% confident if you can get through this past year and a few months of engineering school in a pandemic, you can use your resilience to overcome any challenge and to succeed at whatever you hope and you dream. It's also way too easy for us to dwell on what did and didn't happen this past year. I hope you fondly remember all those late nights in your respective study room or computer lab studying for a test with your friends. I hope you take with you all the good times as well as the lessons learned from the hard times. It has been quite a journey and I wish you all the best on your next endeavor. Congratulations, class of 2021. At this time, I would like to introduce our commencement speaker, Congressman Bruce Westerman, who will share his inspirational message with us via video. Congressman Westerman is serving his fourth term as the represent representative from the 4th District of Arkansas. He is an engineer and forester by trade and worked for 22 years at Mid-South Engineering in Hot Springs, Arkansas. He was named Engineer of the Year by the Arkansas Society of Professional Engineers in 2013. Congressman Westerman graduated in 1990 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Biological and Agricultural Engineering and was a four-year walk-on member of the Razorback football team. He is also a graduate of Yale University, earning a Master of Forestry degree in 2001. Warm greetings to the university administration and staff, parents, friends, family members, and the class of 2021. I'm Congressman Bruce Westerman, and 31 years ago, I was sitting where you are as a soon-to-be graduate of the University of Arkansas College of Engineering. This is a significant milestone in your life. It's an exciting day. You may have a similar memory etched in your mind of walking out of Engineering Hall after taking that last final exam and feeling like the weight of the world had been lifted because your academic requirements had been fulfilled. But did you make your way out of the building and into the cool rain to your old pickup to discover a flat tire? That was my story, and after changing the flat, I decided to spend five of the roughly $13 in my checking account to get it fixed. To the eye, it appeared I finished college with $13 and a flat tire. But the University of Arkansas experience is more than meets the eye. You are about to obtain a certificate that acknowledges you literally have one of the best educations on the planet. But the world doesn't owe you anything. Your challenge is to make the most of the opportunities you have as a graduate of this fine institution and give back to the world to make it a better place for everyone. Commencement 1990 marked the second time ever on both sides of the Westerman family for someone to graduate from college. You may be in the same situation as a first generation graduate in your family, or you may have a long lineage of college graduates. But the fact that you're graduating with an engineering degree means you've accomplished something that only a fraction of 1% of, of Americans and even a smaller amount of the global population achieves. Today is extra special because my daughter and my son-in-law are among your ranks. It does the heart good to have a heritage of engineering graduates in your family. June 1st will mark 30 years since my college sweetheart said I do. Maybe you too have been blessed to find your soulmate here. These two football conference championship rings left campus with me. Unfortunately, they were the last two, but Coach Pittman is going to change that. Whether you played sports or not, you're now forever a member of the Razorback Nation. Travel the world and you'll find hog fans everywhere. Please join the Alumni Association or get involved in other ways to give back. What does it mean to be an engineer? You'll get asked that question. Some will joke and say that the difference between an introverted and extroverted engineer is that the extrovert looks at your shoes when he's talking to you. When they give you a hard time, ask them if they know what you call an engineer five years after graduation. The answer is boss. 
In the broadest sense, engineers are highly skilled problem solvers. You've demonstrated that you can grasp complicated math and science concepts, but you'll soon learn your biggest asset is that you can define and solve big problems. The world needs big problem solvers. Your skills apply to much more than engineering. You will have opportunities to solve problems you can't imagine right now. You have prepared for those opportunities, but if you want to rendezvous with unexpected success, you must never stop preparing. Coach Ken Hatfield taught us that there's no such thing as luck, but what some people confuse as luck is simply where preparation meets opportunity. Put another way by legendary football coach and Arkansan Paul Bear Bryant, he said that the harder he worked, the luckier he got. This experience is much more than $13 in a flat tower, tire. You have the foundation and the skills to do great things in your careers, in your communities, and for our future. You have what it takes to solve the world's complicated problems. Use those talents to bless others around you. Multiply the work ethic you learned to get through engineering school. When people see your success and call you lucky, remember you weren't lucky, you were prepared and accepted the challenge. Remember your time at this incredible school and those who poured into you. In turn, share your luck with others to make the world a better place. May God continue to bless you and your futures. Whatever you do and wherever you go, always remember, Wu Pig Suey Razorbacks. I'm so grateful that Congressman Westerman was able to share his thoughts with us this afternoon and his inspiring message. At this time, I would ask the graduates to stand. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the degree indicated on your diploma with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. You may now move your tassels to the left side of your mortarboards. Congratulations, please be seated. Today, we are recognizing those students who have or will have completed their respective degree requirements by May or August 2021. This year, we are awarding 730 degrees to our undergraduate students. Those graduating from the Honors College will be wearing a bronze medallion and will receive Latin honors on their diplomas in recognition of their accomplishments. Those not graduating from the Honors College but with high overall grade point averages will receive various levels of distinction on their diplomas in recognition of their excellent grades. Those graduating summa cum laude or with highest distinction will be wearing a white stole with a red and white cord and have achieved a grade point average of at least 3.90. Magna cum laude, or high distinction graduates, will be wearing a white stole and have achieved a grade point average of at least 3.75. Those graduating cum laude will be wearing a red stole and have achieved a grade point average of at least 3.50. Those graduating with distinction will be wearing a red stole and have achieved a grade point of at least 3.60. At this time, I'll ask the computer science and computer engineering graduates to rise and be escorted by the marshals to the platform. Still photographs of the commencement ceremony will be available for purchase. Ordering information will be sent to each graduate. The recipients of degrees from the Department of Computer Science and Computer Engineering will be recognized by the department head, Ja D. Dinidi 
on behalf of the faculty of computer science and computer engineering department, I am pleased to present these students as having completed all the requirements for their degrees. Zachary Gunner Lawless. Carson Mulder. Gustavo Perez. Cassidy McManus. Gage Curtis Robinson. Deshaun White the second. Ethan Brueger. Ryan Gag. Zachary Bryant Heil. Delendra Canal. Fernando Mota. Stephanie Phillips. Jack Scholes. Ronaldo Seren Lari. Eric Newton. Spencer Dalton Ward. Tyler Dean Girth. Delwan T. Jackson. Anish Komanduri. Hui Xuan Mai. John Shellnut. William Baker. Matthew Harry Brook. Andrew Hu. Rafael Toche Pisano. Austin Shipman. Jaisha Van Brunt. Bo Cross. Calvin Franz. Tanner Scott Pascal. Samuel Witaki. Richard Joshua. Stephen Prudhomme.
Jackson Carlton. Mira Carey. Adam Greenfield. Twin H. A. Nguyen. Divya Wartan Singh. Karen Alice. William Andrew Burroughs. Dakota Stephen Don't Dale. Trip. Jillian Ray Dirksen. Andrea Donati. Braden Dressendorfer. Watson J. Dunn. Esteban Alejandro Duran Marti. Allison Fry. Alessandra Garcia. Gavin Glenn. Dalen Blake Hatch. Nicholas Hester. Cruz Higginbotham. Samuel Hudson. Alexander Theodore Kalmus. Anthony Lopez Guerra. Morgan Manis. Jaden Martin. <laughs> Elliot Mason. Luke Landry Miller. Michael Vincent Panis. Lily Nguyen Fu. Larson Polk. Brandon Russell. Philemon Boakye Sarpaning. Fred Shumbusho. Benjamin Louis Thedford. Colton Tucker. Reed Allen Veerling. Oh, no. 
Eileen Zhang. Chase Zimmerman. Caroline Geschwind, with highest distinction. Sam Malone. Max Parsa. Nice hat. Oakland Alexander Evans. Nubia Magana Moreno. Hawk Dykes. Zachary Elwood Fulmer. Tay Pham. Turner David Sawyer. Aldrin Reed de Guzman Warwick. Matthew Washington. Aaron Hunter Williams. The recipients of degrees from the Department of Electrical Engineering will be recognized by the department head, Dr. Juan Balda. Dean Needy, on behalf of the Faculty of the Electrical Engineering Department, I'm pleased to present the students as having completed all the requirements for their degrees. Ji Jun Gui, summa cum laude. Jenny Hao Chen. Kevin Hobbs. Hugo Isogai. Kara Maurer. Allison Rucker, with highest distinction. Jeremy Tall. Daniel Voss. Luis Rodriguez Aguilar. Cameron West. Joel Richard Calhoun. Robert Eli Davidson. Adam Fowler. Daniel Rajiv Jagasar. John David Lancaster. Hadim Mbai. Andy McCoy. Jason Norman.
Israel Sanchez. Daniel Sanchez Trujillo. Kyle Gertis. Eric Michael Ali. Clay Michael Barrett. Alan Donald Boston. Austin Calloway. Andrew Carrillo. Cade Darrow. Kelsey Renee Durkee, with high distinction. Lisbeth Guardado. Nicholas Michael Gustworth. Miles Jamison Koch. Jacqueline Crable. New G. Lee. Spencer William Maine. Brady J. McBride. Brandon Alexander Myers Ortiz. Jonathan Brady Newman. Taylor Nguyen. Jason Dale Norton, with high distinction. Luis Ortiz. Connor Rugg. Rosemary Sanchez. Jacob Lawton Schumacher. Chris Sumphanute. Denisha Nikimbria Strotter. Darren Nicholas Simonette. Andrew Blake Thornton. Zachary Utley. Christian Rudolph Williams. This concludes the College of Engineering commencement ceremony. Thank you all and enjoy the rest of your day.